briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1990 case that made its way up to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, Stanley Wright found himself in the middle of a legal debate surrounding what evidence could be admitted to court. Wright was initially convicted of selling cocaine near a school, landing him a seven-year sentence. The case, United States v. Wright, revolved around Wright's contention that the court had relied on his past criminal activities to unfairly influence the outcome of his trial. The police claimed that Wright, shown in a wiretap recording, had sold them crack on two separate occasions. Over Wright's objections, the presiding judge had allowed this recorded conversation, which Wright admitted he was a drug dealer, to be used as evidence of his identity and intent. The heated debate that resulted led to a closer examination of Federal Rule of Evidence 404, B. This rule allows evidence of prior crimes to be admitted under specific circumstances. If it clarifies identity, helps to establish a pattern of behavior, or can help shed light on the specific incident at hand. Seemingly, the rule is designed to prevent the admission of past criminal activities broadly similar to the current charge if they lack significant probative value. In deciding on the appeal, the court declared the wiretap evidence inadmissible. They explained that Rule 404B filtered out evidence of similar past crimes unless the evidence could provide useful insights into identification or modus operandi. However, the court ruled that the tape presented during the trial merely depicted Wright as a drug dealer without providing any considerable insights into his case. Furthermore, the instructions given to jurors had failed to limit the use of this evidence. The judgment was reversed, and Wright was granted a new trial on the grounds that the use of the wiretap recording had unfairly influenced the jury against him. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.